I want to show in this video how you can create your own SSD Python program with uh, my templates and, and with an SSD uh, Python uh, module. So that I actually want to do is the following. So I have uh, SSD that calculates uh, SSD hashes. For example, for calc, this is the Windows executable SSD. This is uh, SSD hash. And what I wanted to do was compare this to another SSD hash. Now, if you look into the help of SSD, you can provide a file with uh, hashes to, to match. Now, what is for me a bit uh, cumbersome is first of all that I have to create a file. I cannot just provide a hash on the command line. And secondly, I also have to provide a header uh, in that f file with hashes uh, that I provide. So I will show you now how you can create your own SSD Python uh, SSD program in, in Python with uh, that feature. And we are going to use, first of all, a library, an SSD uh, library in Python. There is an SSD uh, Python library that is a wrapper uh, for uh, SSD, but that doesn't work uh, on Python. And that's why I'm choosing this one here, PPD, which is a pure Python implementation uh, of SSD. It's quite simple. You import a module and then you can calculate directly the hash here of a string. You can also compare two hashes with this function or you can hash from a file with this uh, function and you just install it with uh, PIP. And this is my Python template for binary files, a process binary files and that's what we are going to start with. So I have that file here. I'm going to copy it to ssd.py and then here in my editor, so I have process binary file here. I'm going to open ssd that I just copied and start to make modifications. So first of all, ssd in Python, that's the description, version one, 22nd of May and also adapt the history. So I'm starting start from binary template and then I can throw away all those commands here. And then here the first thing that I'm going to do is import PP deep. Now I do want an error message, a readable uh, error message to be displayed when PP deep is not installed. So let's do a try accept. And we will catch the exception import error. So if an error happens during the import, we will say print here module ppd missing install pip install ppd like this now we can already test this for calc here Okay, and we get output li like this now. This is uh, the, the default, that's the example in my template. But you can see here that the there was no error. Uh, the, I have already installed PPDP on this machine. Now what I do to, to test this here typically is import something that doesn't in exist. Like PPDPX, let's try that. Okay, and that did not work. Okay, here, module PPD missing. Yes, I have the warning. I forgot to add an exit. 
exit minus one like that okay module pp deep missing install pip install pp deep and if it is installed then we have that behavior okay so let's change that i go to the end of the program and scroll a bit up and here you see the line put your data processing code here so what we have here is first of all output of uh, for a line that tells us which file it is that's what we see here we are going to keep this and then here an ascii dump of the beginning of the file that's what you have here that i'm not going to use neither this so i'm throwing that away this one here to output csv i'm going to use that later so i'm going to put this as a comment so and what i'm going to do here is output line I calculate the SSD hash, so SSD hash equals ppdeep hash data. Because in my binary template, the files that you provided here, the content of the file is in variable data. And this works for um, files, for a file inside a zip file, also for files through a uh, file through standard in, and and also with uh, a json input all this works and it's always in in data so just by doing this i have calculated the ssd hash and i'm just going to output this and let's try and that's the output that he have let's compare with the exe and that is the output that we have Now, let's um, continue. I also want to print a score. I compare, do a comparison and get a score. For that, I'm going to use an option. At the end here, I can do options. So I'm going to copy the output option because that's an option that takes a string and that's what I want so C compare default it's an empty string and here provide SSD comparison hash like that And let's go back here. Okay, so I've calculated my hash here. Now I'm going to test if options compare, if that's different from an empty string. If it's different from an empty string, we have a hash. And then we do the comparison. So ppd compare ssd hash to options compare and now it's something i'm going to change later but i'm going to uh, output the comparison before i output the hash that's strange but something that i'm going to change later on in the next step do I print the comparison? So if I run this like this, I have just that output. Then let me copy this hash. And then compare this hash to this hash. And we have a score of 100 here because it's very similar. It's identical actually. I can also compare this to ssdeep.py and there it's zero because it's very different. One is a Python program, the other is a compiled uh, executable. 
Okay. Now, with that SSD Python program, so like I said, uh, it takes many uh, files also as input. Here you can see the, it calculates uh, for four different files here in this uh, directory. Um, you can also do it from standard in. So this is a test and pipe this into SSD like this and then you get a, yeah, a small hash because it's small input and also if I put for example calculator into a password protected file and I have a very small bat file to do that zp so uh, this will compress calc.exe into a zip file and use password infected like this you can see here the file. Well, if you run SSD on this one here, it will extract the file uh, from memory and uh, compare that. And we can indeed, uh, well, actually not compare, but uh, calculate the hash. And we can indeed uh, compare that by doing an SSD on calc take the hash and then here compare this and we have a score of 100 okay now last thing I want to do here is also provide CSV output so here I'm going to add a binary option and I'm going to copy the man option because that's a binary option so the C, we cannot use the C for CSV because we already use it for compare. So I'm going to use V, CSV, action store true, default is false, and um, provide CSV output. Okay. Let me make uh, some changes here. So, I have calculated SSD hash and I've calculated the comparison if that is necessary. Now, I'm going to test if options CSV, I'm going to output CSV and that's what I can do with this here. Let's output the row and else I'm going output the not the comparison well the comparison and the SSD hash but of course let's do that into one line so we output SSD hash space and then the comparison score like this so SSD hash comparison here and then we can throw away this now that is the case if we have a comparison if there isn't a comparison I just want to output the hash so I'm going to take this if here and copy this here here we have something to compare if not I will just output the SSD hash like so I can throw this away and here I just have the row to output so the row let's actually do this here the row is a list with a file name and the SSD hash and then if I do a comparison, I append the comparison to the end of the row. So, so this uh, should work. Let's do some tests. Um, well, we can just run the test again. Yeah, indeed, here now we see the file name here, the hash, and then the score. 
this is without score and this is for many files so that has not changed now let's do some csv output and we uh, yeah it's option v okay ah yeah i have the file name twice so i should not output this when i'm in csv mode so if not option csv output this so let's see that again okay and if we do it without then we have it okay so that's what we want and now let's also compare this like so and then again we have an invalid hash format so line 231 let us see one four five six Okay, it's an invalid format because I don't want a calc here like this. This is the actual hash. Okay, so this is working. So my input was wrong. And indeed, now we have a score of 100. And let's see if we do that on all the files. Then on the two calcs, uh, the, cal the actual calc and the calc inside the zip file, 100 and rest 0, 0, 0. Now, remember that process binary file was a sort of SSD file. So let's actually compare the SSD hash of process binary file and see what output that we get. Okay, so now of course zero for calc, for process binary 100, and for SSD, at SSD by dot back 96 and 97 and because there are modified versions of that uh, process binary file so this seems to work if you want a header here that gives you a file name hash and a comparison we can do that so Let's copy this if option CSV output a uh, row and actually let's copy all of this like this. So this here is function process binary file. It processes a single binary file. And right after that you have process binary files. So this is the one that processes many files into a loop by calling process binary file for each individual file. So to output a header, I'm going to do this here in this function, so that this header is only outputted once. So the row file name and SSD hash. If we have option compare, we also add comparison as a header. And if we have CSV, we output the row, uh, which is actually the header. So let's try that out. Indeed, now we have a header. And if we don't have any um, CSV output, then we don't have a header. Okay. So that's pretty much it. The only thing that remains to do here is also update the MAN page. So in all of my tools, well, most of my Python tools, I, also, I not only have a help, but also a man page with option M that gives you an explanation on how to use the tool. This is just text in a print manual. And so this is the text that needs to be updated. So this tool is a, Python implementation 
of SSD based on module PPD. And yeah, you can just continue the explanation here of the tool, but I'm going to leave it uh, here.